Hello guys, welcome to another update video on my Unity multiplayer project. If you're new here, click the card in the top right right now to go watch all my previous update videos on this multiplayer project first. Link in the description as well. Okay, now let's get into what I've worked on. Continuing from where we left off last video, I just implemented a full game loop. Previously, when the round ended, it just went right back to the lobby. So the first thing I did was polish it off by adding a game over screen. When the round timer reaches zero, the game pauses and the game over UI appears on the screen. This displays all of the player's scores, as well as a countdown until returning everyone back to the lobby. I also added some UI to the screen when you die. It displays who or what you were killed by, as well as a countdown with how much time is left until you respawn. So the main thing that I worked on for this update was implementing a hand system slash hotbar system. Before now, I just had the three weapons that we currently have basically just hard-coded to always be in your hands and you can switch to them at any time. Now I have created a hand system that can keep track of specific weapons or items that you have equipped to yourself. This way, when more items are added, you will be able to customize your loadout to which specific items that you want to play with. Let's start with looking at the UI that I added. In the bottom right, there is now some UI to show what is in your two hand or hotbar slots. An icon appears for your equipped items and the currently held item is highlighted. I'm sure the look may be tweaked in the future and I think there will be more than two slots eventually as well. The next thing that I worked on was the ability for items to be dropped and picked up. You can drop the weapon that you're holding in your hand and then it's turned into a physics object that can be interacted with. You can then pick up another weapon with your empty hand. I plan on possibly adding game modes with looting, so that's why I added this ability. The last thing I worked on related to the hand system was adding a basic way to change your loadout in-game. When you open the scoreboard, there are these two drop-downs in the bottom right to select which items you want to respawn with. And if I just do slash kill to commit suicide, we should be able to see that. So yeah, I think that's about it for the current state of the hand system. We are now pretty much ready to add more weapons and items to the game. I had a few people mention after the last video that the player's model color should match the team color. So I went ahead and did that. I also worked on loading screens. This simple loading screen now appears when switching between maps. I worked on the server list system as well. The listed servers now display the amount of players connected compared to the max amount of players that can connect. And the last thing that I worked on was tweaking the rendering. It was noticed that my shadows looked pretty terrible before, so after tweaking the settings, I managed to make them look much better now. The other thing that I tweaked was the universal render pipeline post-processing. Here is a comparison of the before and after. Unity also just released ambient occlusion for the URP render pipeline, so I'm excited to add it once it's out of beta. Let me know what you think of these changes, but I think a lot of these effects will be toggleable when I add a settings menu to the game. To end off this update video, I wanted to thank all my subscribers. We hit 1k subscribers a few weeks ago and we are already way past it by now. So thank you for subscribing. I also wanted to let you know that I'm back to university now, so progress on the game will slow, but hopefully stay steady, we'll just have to wait and see. Therefore, update videos may be a little more sparse and a little shorter. Also make sure to join the Discord if you want to see more frequent updates that I make and or just hang out with the community. I hope you like this update video and I hope to see you in my next one. Until then, thanks for watching.